doing? I was playing the piano. What were you doing? I was mimicking you. Oh, so we're playing chopsticks? <laughs> I don't even know how to use chopsticks. Maybe you should go to WikiHow. Ooh, good segue. That's WikiHow. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Maybe. Roll the opening. <sighs> Hello! Hello. And welcome back to What's Safe Word? I'm Am. I'm Miss Christopher. And today, how is a question that we have about a lot of things on the internet. And mm -hmm. it's nice that we have places we can go to. Remember Ask Jeeves back in the day? Who's Jeeves? <laughs> Fine. Google? You, you know, I know you, Google. Okay, Google, okay. I know. And there's also this platform and website that is called WikiHow. Have you ever heard of it? I've heard of WikiLeaks, but I just thought they <laughs> needed a diaper. How do you leak? <laughs> if anyone needed to be into ABDL, it's WikiLeaks. <laughs> True. I bet Mr. Snowden would have some opinions on that. <laughs> As inquisitive beings on the internet, we always have questions. And for whatever reason, platforms pop up all the time that allow you to ask them, to answer them, and in some cases do that, but with really interesting graphics that sometimes are a little questionable. Now, WikiHow is this website that's similar to Ask Jeeves or just a Google search question. You can ask it anything, how to blank. And it will give you almost always a response in some way to the point where we were even it featured in a WikiHow once. Someone had made these cartoon graphics of us doing a uh, hog tie, and they used our imagery for the actual wiki how. How did I never see that? You did. This is a long time. How ago. don't I remember that? Does that mean we've arrived? No, no, no. They replaced it though. Oh. Because <laughs> I think that they thought that they. We arrived and went. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they they have revised it since. I even went and looked it up. They revised it because I they probably didn't want us to like sue over like. But I thought it was funny. I never sue over art. No, I don't either. I just thought it was funny. That said, there are tons and tons of wiki articles that are incredibly odd in the imagery that is used. And so today we're gonna play a game of Guess That Wiki How. Okay. Is this like when the computer drew its own pictures? Kind of. Okay. We are gonna go through random imagery that has been pulled by our little gremlins on the internet. And you will get three options as to what the wiki how is trying to help you with. And we have to guess. I don't know, you don't know, we're gonna guess together. Oh, I know nothing. Thank you, Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Bring out the, well, I guess it's right here, woo! Uh, so welcome, Daddy, to a game show I'd like to call WikiHow to Sex, where we have been given a bunch of random sex-related in some way, or maybe just gay sh tutorials to figure out something through life, but we are only seeing the imagery, yes. Or am I being scored on this? Always. So, Daddy, you ready? I'm ready. Got any questions? I no longer do. So what is this trying to help you do? It's either how to deal with erectile dysfunction, how to hide a boner, or how to jerk off in public. So, I don't know if that's gonna is, help, is that help erectile you dysfunction. Turn that, you on. That's not turning me on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to rule that one out. Okay. Although, you could hide a boner this way. You could also, well, that I guess, well. Hey daddy, is that a boner down there or are you just pinching yourself? I'm just pinching myself. <laughs> not inappropriately. <laughs> I mean, there is a grabbing and jerking motion in that third photo, and there is a little bump in the first one, so I'm having a hard time between hiding a boner and jerking off in public. I'm gonna side with the hiding a boner because that doesn't seem hot, right? Unless you're into pinching, which is a thing. But it could also, that last one could be how to deal with erectile dysfunction. If you're just stroking it, that does help. Okay, so which no. one are you going with? I'm gonna go with how to hide a boner. I am also going to, and let's see. How to hide an erection, yep. I still don't understand how this does it, unless it's over it. But but, I mean, that I guess that could be to like put the boner away, like to try to stop the boner no, from happening. It's diversion. So they're not looking at your boner because they're like, why the hell are they touching their <laughs> arm? Well, there's nothing quite as awkward as getting an unexpected erection in public. Actually, yep. I kind of love it. <laughs> Fortunately, it's very easy to hide an unwanted erection. That's Coat. Too funny. Put a bag over it. That might be part of it. Yeah. Okay, next one. What is this trying to help you do? Learn how to wear a jockstrap, learn how to be a gay and play sports, or learn how to explain your underwear fetish. Well, I love that. That they have nasty pig brand oh, yeah. and into in, <laughs> so they're definitely targeting the gays. That's so funny. Uh, what's that logo? The red swirly one. I'm not sure, but I know that it's okay. a gay underwear brand. I just okay. like this. This is me shopping for underwear. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say how to explain your underwear fetish because he's contemplating this. He doesn't know how to come <laughs> out. He's also into cups, which oh, is I a very that. specific so fetish. Much. So you're going with number three? Yes. I'm gonna go with how to wear a jock strap just to spite you. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is cheating. This is cheating. A jock strap consists of a waistband, usually elastic. 
They were developed almost 150 years ago for bicyclists and nowadays are used to support comfort during a variety of sports. That's so funny though. Like the pictures are, are so different. And the one thing that is so out of place is the nasty picture. Yeah, why did they have gay logos? Did you know the sports bra is actually just two jock straps sewn together? I did. That's how the first one was made. I mean, not nowadays, obviously, but that's how the first one was made back in the day. Oh, okay. Uh, this set is right up our alley. She has a chain around her she, neck. She's got something. This is either how to negotiate kinky sex, how to be polyamorous, or how to be a porn star. I don't know if a chain around my neck depicts porn star, so I'm gonna rule that one out. And WikiHow's very sex negative, generally. So I'm gonna say, because it's like an up down thing, how to negotiate kinky sex. Because the only polyamorous thing is the third picture. I don't know why, but the guy in the middle reminds me of uh, a character from Breaking Bad. Say my name. I don't know what that helps it or hurts, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they just painted over him. I think it's how to negotiate kinky sex. I feel like she's almost at therapy though with this guy. I don't know. Uh... Say my name. Okay, you're going with kinky sex. I'm going to go with how to be polyamorous. And I think she's at a, a therapist. But why the know. chain around your I neck don't about know. polyamorous? Uh, these pictures are weird. I'm going to go with kinky sex as well. I'm going to go with kinky sex. Final answer. How to be a porn star? No. There's, what's up with the chain around? Oh. oh. Wait, the chain was set personal set personal boundaries. Set personal boundaries about what types of sex you will have. Interesting. What? Oh, I like this. Create a username. The angel screen name. Fox. <laughs> I bet the real Angel Fox is gonna be pissed about this. Know that you will have to conform to someone else's standards. No, you don't. As a porn star sex worker, whatever you wanna call it, you don't have to do anything, but you can be consensual. You can be flexible but you never have to. Wiki how, please. And then wait, what's the last one with the, the poly couple? Diversify your options. A straight male or female who does only one type of porn is, unfortunately, not, not gonna, gonna get a lot of work. work. Wow. How do you know? <laughs> These little clips, I'm getting this now. There's a lot more pictures that go to this story. So you're, you're, uh, get, you're only so getting, just getting, little... you're getting snippets. Okay. Snippets. So I have to expand my mind and go wider. Yeah. If you ever had to write a Wiki how article, what would you make your Wiki how about? Ooh, ooh, I would do uh, how to start and only fans. I feel like that would be topical, oh SEO God. friendly. Everybody keeps asking me that. I know. Well, too bad we don't have an episode on such a thing. Oh, I have one. How to build a set of stocks. How to build stocks. How to build a stock portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question. How is my data not being tracked because there are hackers always siphoning data? Oh, with today's sponsor, Surfshark. Is that subtle? Did WikiHow know that? That's amazing. <laughs> WikiHow Surfshark? How to survive a shark attack. <laughs> well, I mean, a, no. a, a very pretty net would help or VPN, a virtual private network, which not only keeps your data secure, gives you ways in which you can watch whatever kind of shows on any kind of platform all over the world. Let's say you want to watch Friends or something like RuPaul's Drag Race. You can take yourself to other countries and your Netflix library, which usually doesn't have it in the States, magically now has that and more. That's a good little wraparound. A reach around, if you will. You can also like 24 seven customer service and money back guarantee in 30 days, as well as a sick deal. Daddy, what can they do? Use offer code Watts at the link down below for 85% off your purchase and three months for free. So thank you again, Surfshark, for keeping our data safe and making it so when we search for stuff like this, we don't get weird ads in the future. Oh, thank God. Yeah, well, I, I don't trust me, I'll turn your Surfshark off. All right. Speaking of expanding your mind, the next one, what is this trying to help you do? How to do anal sex, uh -huh. how to jerk off, how to make sex last longer. Oh, oh. well, drugs, Cigarettes and alcohol won't make sex last longer. All the things there will make sex go longer, especially with their time hourglass. It, it, could, it could literally be a step that's like, make sure you don't take too long or, or jerk off too long either though. These images are not meant to be your friend. Sometimes they mean the opposite. But this one is a desensitizing lube. Oh, so, look at you. So, so we think it's how to make sex last it's longer. It's a numbing cream. Uh huh to go longer. Mm -hmm. It could be jerking off, but I don't think it's anal. Or no, it could be anal though. What if- But that's not lube. You would not use desensitizing cream on your dick. Also don't use that. Pain is a way in which your body is telling you to stop something. Don't numb it. So are we both in agreement then? I think so. Make sex last longer. Yes. Yeah. I win! Ding, 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 ding. Okay. So I like this, that they have like actual people like co-authoring these things. And while I don't agree with desensitizing lube so much, because again, that your body says pain and you're supposed to stop. I appreciate that they're talking about something like 
like making sex last longer for those of us that might need a little bit of help. And what I especially like is, and here it says, avoid placing blame and let your partners know that you want to work together to meet your both physical and emotional needs intimately. That's, that's actually pretty that's good. Nice. That's, that's good. Nice. What is this trying to help you do, Daddy? How to be an exhibitionist, uh -huh. how to have an affair, uh -huh. or how to have sex without your parents knowing. Do it in the woods? <laughs> I mean, you can do all of these things What's in the woods. What's up with the trees? I don't know. That, uh, how's that go with any you of it? don't get to ask follow-up questions. Well, I, I need to know. <laughs> and that kind of looks like my car. Um, do you have something you'd like to talk about, Daddy? <laughs> I need to talk to you about how to have an affair. Or poly and open, so I don't... I, I mean, it's really open. hard. Have affairs when you're open to them. I love going to a fair. I'm guessing. I feel like those are parents talking to a teenager, so they're not talking to the teenager about being an exhibitionist. She could be having sex with her parents in the next room. And if they're having sex and in a car, that's not being an exhibitionist. Mm, I disagree. Some people have sex with tinted windows and feel that exhibitionism. Sure. I've read some of these WikiHow articles and it's giving you different steps on how to do things. What about Into the Woods? That's very exhibitionism. Agony. <laughs> You're exposing yourself to trees. You're still out in the nature. You're doing it ethically, and that's a way in which you can feel that that. Ooh, no, I'm exhibitionism is other people seeing you. Daddy, this also said that doing sex work included collars and chains, and I know. you couldn't conform. So I'm just saying. I mean, it does for me, but I don't think it's how to have an affair unless you're having an affair with your parents. I think it's how to have sex without your parents knowing. The mom looks very upset. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with how to have sex without your parents. Does knowing she look well. upset? She, she, just, she looks a little constipated, she, actually. <laughs> grimacing. Yes. <laughs> Maybe mom has a butt plug in, she needs to get out. How to have sex without your face? I am winning this. I am like, hands down, across the board, winning this. I've gotten more than you have. In the last two answers, I am hands down, across the board, <laughs> winning this. Taking your relationship to the next level can be pretty tricky when your parents are right down the hall. Then don't do it in your parents' house. Y'all don't get in trouble. Yeah. Don't worry, sneaking around is pretty simple. <laughs> I don't know But have you that. ever had sex in your parents' house? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think and it was everybody has. in the car that was in the garage turned off. There was no, there was You're doing there. it wrong. Have you not looked at WikiHow? Sorry, I, in the woods, in the car, <laughs> with, with my parents in the next room. You have these for a reason. I didn't have Listen. these. Oh man, what would we have done without WikiHow? Oh my God. Next question. What is this trying to help you do, daddy? How to tie someone up, how to make a kinky gear bag, how to role play. I think that there's a lot of rope, but that doesn't mean it's about rope. And why the fuck does she have bunny ears? I don't think it's rope. I don't think it is. Yeah, as much as the bunny ears are there to, to throw us off. I think that it could be the first two, but with the detailed picture of the, the, the tie, I'm gonna go with how to tie someone up. You know what? Just to go against you, I'm gonna oh. be how to make a kinky gear bag because look at all the gear There's, in yeah. both pictures. That's fair. Including the third. I, I don't disagree. And it's important that you have safety shears, get some water, a, a health kit. Except straws ruin the environment. Oh yeah, so. Forget the plastic bottle. Yeah, get but the, it's the straws that are the problem. <laughs> Let's see what the real answer is. How to tie someone up. Tying someone I gave up you can that be one. fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> tying someone up can be fun and sexy thing to do for both the person that's being tied up and the person who's tying. That's fun. The heightened sensations of vulnerability can result in some thrilling play for the person tied up. Ooh. See, this is very sex positive. It is. I'm not saying that they're not sex positive. I just mean sometimes I think they're misguided. Because you literally said they're not sex positive. Roll I said, the, roll the clip. Wiki, how please? Next, Wiki. What is this trying to help you do? How to spice up your sex life, how to admit a foot fetish, or how to role play? Well, they're definitely- they're There's heated. two foot <laughs> fetishes and one heated conversation. So I don't think it's role play, because that's not really role play tickling someone's feet. And no. Unless you're a good foot piggy. I already know which one I think it is. But I do think that you could spice up your sex life with some foot play. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with admit a foot fetish. Yeah, same. Which is a very odd thing for Wiki to have, but don't be embarrassed about having a thing for your partner's sexy, alluring feet. There's always a way to tell your special someone about your foot fetish without causing a sensation. Causing a sensation. Okay, not a, not, that's not a, nope. Get it out of here, I'm putting my foot down. Do you have no soul? I'm putting my feet up. <laughs> Next, what is this trying to tell us how to do? How to role play. The sh she just ate some sour candy. How to come out as a furry. What is happening to this? Uh, she, she's... <laughs> or how to act like a dominatrix. I think she just got fur in her mouth. She sucked the wrong thing. <laughs> That's not <laughs> how you do it. <laughs> how to act like a dominatrix. I don't think it's role play. Well, all three are different roles, kind of. Yeah. I don't know. The furry, the furry outfit, but also the costume. I do appreciate the ponytail butt plug. That is a flogger. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> See where my mind went. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the one I don't think it is. How to act like a dominatrix. Because I think that's, what these are misleading. What's with the square flesh jack? That is a condom. Oh! Have you never seen it? Oh, never mind. I haven't seen a condom in a long time. <laughs> Daddy, what do you think it is? <laughs> I think it's how to act like a dominatrix. Yes! Killing it. Well, again, weird thing for Wiki how to have, but I'm glad to see it. It talks about fantasy, role play, proper behavior, and communication. There's nothing wrong with any of that, so long as you're being respectful and consensual. Although, but also- I, I think their descriptions are great. The descriptions are great. Some of the points in these though are a little weird. The next one, what is this trying to help you do? How to spice up your sex life, how to use a sex toy, or how to have safer sex. Ooh, so the first picture. Is water-based lubricant. Okay. Second one is a rabbit vibrator. Mm -hmm. They're talking about some sex toys in bed. I don't know what she's doing in the third one. Blowing bubbles. <laughs> and why does she have the, the red cross? Oh, maybe that's safety. It could be a number of these things. I'm going to have to go with safer sex. I'm also going to go with safer sex, but only because spicing up a sex life should not include lube. Lube should already be mandatory in your sex life. <laughs> <laughs> and while spicing up your sex definitely should include some condoms, it's not necessary, and I don't know why it would put that in there unless it was a safety thing. Safety. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Bing, 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 killing bing. it. I am killing this. Whether a virgin contemplating your first time or a more experienced person looking for a new partner, sex can be both exciting and a little nerve wracking. Especially if you're duct taping their mouth shut. <laughs> don't do that, please. What is this trying to help you do, daddy? Not grow a beard. No. How to get a boyfriend. Oh. How to look great as a gay man or how to come out as gay. Well, I think the gay guy with the beard is actually more attractive. So <laughs> I think that's very, wrong. Very judgmental. These could all be. So squeaky clean shirt. Mm -hmm. That I mean, this is very stereotypical if it's how to be a gay man. <laughs> you do not realize how straight leaning this platform is. That's all I'm going to say. The last one, he looks like he's in fear. It kind of looks like he's coming out. Like he's thinking. About, oh. No, I, that's what I'm seeing. Or maybe not. But what's going on with his friend? Is his friend in love with him? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. <laughs> is that not how you be gay? You just hold up a sparkling shirt? I'm so confused. So there's a green check mark on the really well-groomed guy. And and there's an X through the ungroomed guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I find the ungroomed guy sexier. True. I think I could see where it could be coming out. It could be like, get get better clothes, shave and, and manscape. Although that's kind of a, I like the bushier beard as well, but it could also be coming out and getting a boyfriend. How to look great as a gay man sounds weird. So what do you think it is? I'm gonna say how to come out as gay. I'm gonna say Because I think the last to get one, a boyfriend? The last one, he looks super nervous. Okay. So you're going coming out. I'm gonna do how to get a boyfriend because okay. some of these freaking articles are hilarious. Uh, How to look great as a gay. I told you these were worded weird. <laughs> Men in general are more visually oriented than women. Hmm. Okay. Partly because of this, gay men often put more effort into their appearance compared to the straight counterpart. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Actually, not completely <laughs> wrong, but not always. Yeah. Like Despite days. stereotypes, however, this is no narrowly defined way of looking great as a. Oh my god. Okay. Next question. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the homophobia is real in this one. What's this trying to help, Daddy? Uh, how to tell if your boyfriend is gay? Wouldn't your boyfriend dating you be a indication give, of give, give, okay. <laughs> give, give the options. Give the options. How to come out as gay. How to use gay online dating. Oh, well, there's Grindr. Yes. Oh, I can't tell. It's very ambiguous. Gender. They're very ambiguous with the gender, which is fine. Um, Looking at How Grindr. to come out as gay is there again, and I'm not sure if that's to confuse or to, to mislead or, or if that's what it is. I don't know if... I, it's, this has to be how to tell if your boyfriend is gay. Because look they at... They used Grindr, though. Right, but she's looking at his phone and discovering Grindr on his phone. She, she's spying on his phone. Yeah, which don't do that. Especially if you're, well, I mean, if you're the girlfriend, that's a whole other issue. But how to use online dating? You don't think it's that? And him looking at the gay people and being kind of like, that's like a self-loathing gay. So clearly <laughs> wow. gay. You have, you've created a whole soap opera. <laughs> I, I really have. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use online dating because Grindr is very specifically uh, targeted in this. And I feel like he's just being distant. I feel he's being distant. And no, he I think to... he's being judgmental. And oh, it's, it's because oh, he's, he's trying okay. to to hide okay, that he let's is find actually out. gay. Let's find out. How to tell if your boyfriend is Killing gay. it. Killing, killing, killing First it. First of all, why is there a fucking article where we have the same amount of points? And... <laughs> 
This this was co-authored by a psych major too. You don't know for sure unless he tells you himself, but noting possible signs can make it easier to start a conversation. Like looking at their phone don't and saying grinder the- oh is on it. That's so rude. See, I knew it. I knew it. You never listened to me. Next wiki how. What is this try oh, what is this trying to help us do, Daddy? I don't know. How to sell your used underwear. Uh-huh. How to find the right underwear for you. How to convince your parents to let you wear a thong. <laughs> Well, you know, that's the age-old question all himbos ask. <laughs> How do I get my parents to let me wear a thong? I don't I don't know what the clipboard is doing. I don't know. It looks like, are they selling or are they buying? Certainly this, this guy doesn't like thongs, apparently. Thong, the thong, thong. I'm going to say how to find the right underwear for you. I'm going to say how to sell your used underwear then. This image with the line through one butt cheek and the check mark through the other check, that, that means you're trying to find the right thing. True. Unless that's like, where do you hit it with a flogger? <laughs> not here, but here. That's not, this is not a kinky, how to be kinky with underwear. Uh, how to... Co- what? We are both <laughs> wrong. Why would you tell your parents you're wearing a thong? Why do your parents need to know this? With enough preparation and strategy, your chance of convincing them strengthens. Convince your parents with a persuasive argument that will leave them confident in your abilities. What is your persuasive argument to your parents to wear a thong that I just love spaghetti strap of my ass crack? Listen, parents, sometimes <laughs> thongs are comfortable. They, they they lift and tuck and tighten right in the right places. That said, why the fuck are you talking to your children about that? <laughs> this is kind of a personal matter. I don't okay. know if I would discuss with my parents. I, um, I'm gonna... Okay. Follow. I think the more important thing was you were wrong. We were both wrong. But you were more We wrong. were both wrong. Oh no, and that was the last one! <laughs> oh no! So I win! We both had the same you amount. You were wrong. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. No, we're both wrong. <laughs> You know who's wrong though in the end? Whoever the hell thought you had to have a conversation with your parents about a thong. (laughs) That's so weird and random. I did not see that coming. I didn't either, but neither did the parents, I'm sure. Daddy, what if people want a wiki how to leave a comment down below? What can they do? They could just leave a comment down below. It's not that hard. And if you really like, it's just, it's right down there. You just go boop, and then you like it, and an engagement. And if you ring that bell, you will be notified half the time when our new videos come up. <laughs> if, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. If you leave a like, you definitely will get notified more often because that's engagement. But if you're still looking up for tutorials, how to do things, or just questions and conversations around sex and sex positivity, please don't use wiki. How? Please, please don't. I didn't even know it existed. I did, unfortunately, because yeah. people do these kinds of quizzes all the time, and those pictures are hilarious. But regardless of if you use WikiHow or not, please have a safe word. And today's safe word is how. I don't know how. I, I don't know how. If that was a safe word, you need something a bit more boisterous. Do you know to really stop? How? Oh, 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 yeah. What else? How? How? Ah. Regardless, we'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Ooh, how to tell your parents you're wearing chastity. How to shoot a YouTube. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Click these things here. There's, there's a video, there's options, videos. Watch those. Yeah. How to recognize a YouTube gay. Okay, and cut.